Over-tourism has become a real issue in many parts of Europe. And unfortunately, the Italian Riviera is no exception. Instagram darlings like Cinque Terre and Portofino are beautiful, but they have become unbearably crowded. Hi, we're Emre and Maya, and we've been slow traveling through Europe for the last three years, seeking authentic experiences in less crowded destinations. In this video, we show you five of our favorite places where you can experience the Italian Riviera without the crowds. Lerici is located at the southernmost end of the Ligurian coast, just south of Cinque Terre on the border to Tuscany. It's a summer beach resort that gets packed in July and August, but for most of the rest of the year it's fairly quiet. And the majority of tourists you'll encounter here are other Italians, which gives it a more authentic feeling. What we love about Lerici are the shallow sand beaches, the long seaside promenade, and the super cute small villages nearby, Tellaro to San Lorenzo. And you can still take the ferry from here to Cinque Terre if you must. Camoli is often overlooked for its glitzier and star-studded neighbor Portofino. But in our opinion, Camoli is a more rewarding destination. It's a picturesque fishing village with a working harbor and a year-round population. While it gets its fair share of tourists during the peak of summer and on long holiday weekends, it's not too busy during shoulder season. There are excellent restaurants, pasta shops, and focaccia bakeries here that cater to locals as well as repeat visitors. One of our favorite things to do in Camoni is to take a 30-minute ferry ride to the remote San Fruttoso Abbey. Chiavari is probably the least touristy and most authentic of all the towns we've come across on the Italian Riviera. Its star feature for us is the daily farmer's market on the main square. Fresh, beautiful, local fruits and vegetables will inspire you to reach for a Michelin star at home. And if you lack ideas, the senior staff at the stalls will suggest classic Ligurian recipes for you. Ah, piccolissime, si. <laughs> The arcades in the town center are home to old-school cafes, restaurants, and shops. It's as if time has stood still here decades ago. When you drive from Genoa south toward Portofino along the coastal road, the first town you'll drive through is Boliasco. Actually, it's more likely you'll drive past Boliasco because it's frequently overlooked even though it's quite charming. Most foreign tourists have never heard of it. We only stumbled on it by chance, but it's a true hidden gem. Our favorite spot here is the stunning pebble beach under the main church with crystal clear turquoise waters. Fun to visit even in the colder months. If 
you're enjoying this video, please give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. It helps us a lot. Thank you. Nairobi is the southernmost suburb of Genoa, just before you get to Bolyasco. Nairobi star features are definitely the recently rebuilt marina and the Passeggiata Anita Garibaldi, which is a paved promenade along the sea dotted with restaurants, bars and beach clubs, offering stunning views. I hope you enjoyed this brief video. Please check out our channel for more detailed videos on each of the towns mentioned here. Thank you.